Okay, so I've cut the ends off the manifold. It uh, was a bit destructive, but we need these so we can get the space away from the manifold plate so we can know where to put the holes. So, what I've done, put the new studs in, bolted them onto there, put a bit of paint on the end of the studs, then I've put the manifold plate over the top so that the paint marks the manifold plate so I know where to drill the holes to bolt the manifold on. So the manifold now has a blob of paint on the back of it, drill them out and that is where the studs go and it fits on perfectly. So what I'm starting doing is using these for the manifold. What I'm doing is putting a line from the bottom of there up to there, 42 mil all the way around. Then for this bit, what I'm doing, I'm putting another piece the same height, and I'm looking up at it like so, and that's on there, and then I'm, I'm drawing around with the shape of this in here, and that. So the manifold base plate's now finished and now what I have to do is attach the pipe back onto it. So what I've got, first bend under the pipe, so that's going to sit, that's going to sit in there like that. Then I have to make some of these, they slot in there like so, that all then welds up like that. To make these, what I'm doing, from the bottom here to that line, so from there to there, from mine, it's 42 mil. You cut that off, and at the back, you cut that out as well, so it looks like that, and sits into the pipe, like so. So, got a line cut out, now what I'm going to do is cut these off from the back of this pipe so that the, uh, the exhaust gases can flow out of there, into here, up the pipe, up to the turbo. It fits. Happy days. And the manifold is now welded up, finished, bolted onto the bike. Plan now is put a 90 degree bend on here, up there, for the exhaust up the turbo.